Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Tracy Dyson, along with my NASA crewmate, Jeanette Epps, speaking to you from 265 miles above the Earth on the International Space Station. Every day, we look down at our planet and are reminded of our place in the cosmos. On April 8th, you too can get a unique view that showcases the connection between the sun, moon, and Earth. Millions of you in North America will be able to witness the moon pass in front of the sun, creating a partial or total solar eclipse. The path of totality is where observers will see the moon completely cover the sun. The sky will become dark as if it were dawn or dusk. For those who only experience a partial solar eclipse, the sky will appear slightly darker than it was before the eclipse, depending on how much the moon blocks the sun in your location. The longest duration of totality is four minutes and 28 seconds near Torreon, Mexico. Most places along the center line will see a totality duration between three and a half and four minutes. We encourage all of you to view the eclipse through special protective sunglasses that are commonly available. Here on the space station, we work daily on science and research experiments to learn more about space and our home planet. The total solar eclipse is also a rare chance for science. It's a natural experiment that gives researchers the opportunity to learn more about the sun and how Earth's atmosphere responds to its influence. We'll hope you join us on April 8th to watch the eclipse. There is space for everyone in STEM, and we hope this unique solar eclipse inspires you to find your place in space. Happy eclipse watching. <laughs>